This is Rachel. And this is me. Looking hard, guys. Mom, no one's watching you. No one watching me? Because it's too early. It's alright. It will be very interesting. And also, this government store you can pay by credit card or in cash. So, this will be very, very interesting for all of you. According to our tour guide, all the beautiful women in Egypt, the king been thrown, all the beautiful women been thrown in the Nile River. That's why in Egypt there's no more beautiful women. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, our country would not be calm like that because yeah. after three hours exactly, it will be very, very crowded anywhere. Oh, traffic! Yeah, that wow. we have here like more than 25 million people live here in Cairo, in our capital, and like more than 91 million in the whole country. So oh. like every 30 seconds, born a new cat. Oh, we are in Giza now. Now we are in Giza. Yeah. This is Giza Zoo. Yeah, it's Giza Zoo. I see that. Yes. There. Ito itong mga ito na kukwintahan kung paano nila paghati-hatiin yung napanalunan nila ng lutiri kagabi. Tapos sa evening, ito yung mall. Sa mall, wala tayo pupunta. Mall of Arabia. So, hindi na kami, hindi ka nasa sama. Hindi. Mall of Arabia, kasama tayo na. Kasi dahil si Bong ipag-ibig ka na. Ado ko na lang. Ado ko na lang. Anong gagawin mo, budong? Hagkaya na, ano? Hello!
the full story later. So, uh, so please, you know, it's a kind of you if the children come and you give them some things. But, you know, we are not going to the children, go to the parents and sometimes the parents use them. So please, you know, if you want to enjoy the time, you know, don't put yourself in hassles or in hard situations to deal with unofficial and untrusted people. They are on the street or they are sometimes at the places, <laughs> at, you know, at uh, uh, pyramids or at Valley of the Kings or at all over, right? Wherever you're going to go, you're going to have a guide. So he can tell you the advice. This is you can get it from where, this is you can buy it from where. Because we usually and we always deal with the governmental places, the official places. You can deal with your credit card, they can respect you, you know, no hassle, no problem at all. So this is a very important point. The second point I would like to tell you, it's not allowed at all to drink can water. You should have a mineral water or not. This is very important. Don't forget, don't just, you know. So uh, this is this is very important one. When you go to buy something, you know, you should get the, the seed and stuff. Right? This is no one can ask you, but this is for you, you know, if you like and you always deal with a governmental place especially deal with it. Because even if it's a touristic Okay. You got my point? Okay. By the way, I'm gonna keep you from now like 90% you're gonna you gonna enjoy. It. Because when, when the client comes and deal with the street vendors, deal with the street and they tell me the man he tell me this is one dollar and when I show him the money he takes ten dollars. So I cannot be controlled for the video. But I can be controlled for anything, you know, I can go and I can tell you the advice for that. You got my point? Uh, Hakuna Matata? Hakuna Matata. Okay. Okay. So now we are going to have lunch at a, a restaurant, a very famous restaurant here in Egypt. It's a crocodile restaurant. Yes, because I told you he's been here. <laughs> he eats a crocodile and half of the crocodile we still keep it. And they tell me, okay, Joseph, keep it when my wife comes. Right? So. We're gonna go to a place, it's very special, delicious food. It's called Abu Chakra. Abu Chakra it is a very famous brand for the barbecue and the grill uh, uh, food here. So we're gonna, we're gonna have our lunch there and then we're gonna go to pyramids, you know, from there. I'm gonna see you later, everyone. So 6.15, inshallah. And I'm gonna leave you now with the expert Joseph. Enjoy Shukran. your time. Right. Thank Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Shukran, shukran. Have fun, have fun. He's a very nice guy. Yeah. Very nice. Very good. You got all the money? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I will catch him over there and take the money. Right? So, when we go to pyramids, I would like to give you full introduction. Pyramids, there is 140. 124, sorry, 124 pyramids all over of Egypt, right? We're gonna visit the most important uh, pyramids. So, excuse me, just I answer the restaurant because I, you know, I wanna confirm the lunch. Ayo Bish. Ayo Bish. Ah, ah, la ya Bish, jahiz. Ah, jahiz la kana. Okay, so you would like it to eat mixed grill, kebab and the chicken? أيوة. أوكي. أيوة بس عشرة ميكس وأنا والسواء. يعني خليهم اتناشر ميكس. أيوة. ليش توش كده معاي البيش تعبتك معاي. ليش شو كده؟ أوكي. So I just to confirm the restaurant. Okay. So there is 124 pyramids all over of Egypt. You gonna visit the most famous one, the most attract attraction. Right? That's the... So, there is, there is a nine pyramids there. <laughs> nine. Yes. Three big for queen, for kings, and... and uh, three big for king, for, for kings, and six small for queens. So, six small for queens. 
This is the largest one belonging to King of Yorks. And his son, Gephne. And his grandson, Mikrinus. Mikrinus. Father, son, grandson. And there is three pyramids here for queens. For the mother of King Cheops and his two wives. He got married 13 times. Very lucky. Oh, yes, King Ramses II. He got married 42 times. <laughs> like 42 the... times? Yes. How come? How come? He's, he's a strong man. 42 times at the same time or one at the Oh, no. Don't ask that question. <laughs> And the Sphinx is here in the side, looks to the east. This is the east. This is the north. So, total nine pyramids. One, two, three for kings, father, son, grandson, and another six for the queens. Here, here, all of them located at the Sahara Desert, in one location, one place. Yes. Here, yeah, here the panoramic point, the highest point we can go. What we gonna do after? So we gonna go through the security gate, right? And we will walk, I'll let you touch the stone here. i let you have a picture. It looks like you are going into the pyramid, you are climbing the pyramid, okay. right? And then we will come back again, take the car, and we will go to the, what is this? Highest point, the panoramic point. Right? Here you can have a very special experience. You can have a camel ride or or horse carriage. Right? Where you can after you can go this way, the other side of the pyramids, you can have a picture, the nine pyramid will be your background. And you can point like this, you can make the whole pyramid under your under your uh, finger. You can carry the pyramids. Right, you can push. Hello, password. Oh, we're going to have a lot of money. We're going to have a lot of money. We're going to have a Hindi na istis kahit hindi na nakatay yung buhok. Yan yung akitin namin mamaya. This is our tour bus.
Panay nakatilipon lahat itong mga to. Tingnan mo. Ito may open naman. Kanya kanya o. Nandiyan na sa'yo. Konnichiwa. Shabanese? Shabanese? From Shabanese? No. Where do you come from? Where do you come from? Huh? From Thailand? Where? England. India? No. England. England. Fish and chefs, welcome yeah. to Egypt. First time in here? No. Second Fish. time? Etnin. Etnin, he speaks Arab good. Goodbye, England. There's no money present for you. No, no, no. For second time here. No, no. For second time. Remember, I told you. I told you this. Kita aku mau ubus. Mak video kan ada? Mak video aku. Mak video aku. Why? Because Egypt, right? Egyptian people, till now, we are live on the both sides of the Nile. According to the color of the mud, the color of the soil, black. That's why we call it the black country. Kemet, it's mean the black country. That's why Egypt is number one for producing Egyptian cotton for agriculture. Agriculture is number one for us. You know, because why? Because we have the source of water. We have the Nile. And we have the nice weather. And we have the land. So agriculture, it's automatic. It's number one for us. Egyptian fruits, Egyptian cotton, you know, it's number one. I don't know you know that or not. You know Egyptian cotton the best? You know that or not? Yeah. No. Three t-shirt for you. <laughs> right? So it's really, really, it's number one. Then Egypt called Deshret. I will show you ancient Egyptian language later. Deshret. It means desert. Deshret, desert. Because why? We have three big deserts here. We have the Western Desert, and the Eastern Desert, and Sinai Desert. The sunrise from where?
Richel. Hello. Hello. See you later. Pwede na? Pwede tayo sumama doon, no? Hmm, sama kayo, lakit kayo doon. Pwede na? Pwede na? Pwede na?
of development. Uh, actually, uh, the real tombs started as the, the round bed. Round bed in isolated place inside the desert. Okay, this is, you know, the early depiction for the real tombs. It was it started like this. Round bed in isolated place in the dry weather inside the desert. And they used to leave the dead body inside of that type of tomb, okay, uh, exposing for the sun heat. Looking for that uh, dead body to dry by the sun heat, and that we is known here in Egypt by you know natural mummies. So we have two types of mummies. We found it here in Egypt: natural mummies and artificial mummies. Natural mummies that used to leave the dead under the sun, dry weather, okay, uh, inside the desert, and you know gradually. The dead body is started to dehydrate by the heat of the sun and became dry on the end. But later they found out uh, jackal. Jackal, does, you know jackal? You know jackal? Kids, you know jackal? Jackal. Jackal is like a dog. You know the dog. But, uh, our, but the dog, I mean jackal is more uh, great figure. You know, like, you know, uh, thin. Yeah, luck well, but mixed. Okay, so uh, have a great fitness, but actually that type of animal actually really is ex extinct, not exist anymore in our environment. Always, always, you know, with a straight, it's like, it's a dog, but straight uh, ear and uh, black, always black. In the Egyptian Museum, there is a lot of statues for jackal. Maybe in our, um, yeah, in our tour in Memphis, I'm gonna show you, uh, a jackal painting on the sarcophagus. Okay, so um, jackal, did you see mommy and mommy return? Yes. Huh? Do you remember mommy and mommy return? Okay, do you remember you know, black uh, dog, black, yeah, yeah, black yeah. face dog, and the human dead body? Yeah. Do you remember that? Yeah, that's, yeah. that's 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 jackal face. Yeah. yeah, that's jackal face. It's Anubis, Anubis, the god of mummification. So, do you remember the mommy, uh, mommy returns that name as well in Hatib? Imhotep. 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 Yeah. Yeah. That evil guy. Never, yeah, yeah. Ah, Imhotep. Okay. Yeah. Imhotep. 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 This is the road going to the shore, a road trip where in a van 
with our tourist guide. <laughs> See the palm tree? It's a 45 minutes drive from our hotel. Look how they drive. I like the driving in Britain. The house, big. Old building in the shore. Top. Street vendor. This is the documentary I'm doing this for. This area is known by Sakara. Oh, this is, ah, this is place now. Your name is Oh, Sakara by the is famous by uh, palm trees. So, so Sakara is famous by palm, palm trees. Yeah. Also very famous by mango trees. Mango oh, tree mango. famous. A lot of uh, mangoes mango here. Trees, guava trees, lemon trees. Lemon, not lime. And also later we found uh, oil, oil. Oil. oil on the south of Sakara. Wow. Also very famous by traditional industry is as professional schools of handmade carpets. It's only in Sakara you can find this in all over Europe. Even all over the world you can find you know that traditional industry. I mean the schools for that type of that industry. So that's why through our way in Sakara, you can see a lot of schools like this. Maybe because the raw material is available. Because uh, the number of sheets in Sakara, okay? You know if the number of sheets in all over Egypt, the number so one third of the sheets just in Sakara. So the sheets number more than you know the population number. Or the people number in Sakara. So the police pool is available. That's why that tradition industry is uh, common in Sakara, my village. Plus, you know, uh, monuments still on earth. I mean, a lot of monuments are still on earth. It's still undiscovered. You can say Sakara undiscovered yet. Still. So that's why there is a lot of, um, a lot of uh, universities came from different countries and all over the world trying to help Egypt to do its initial process in Sakara. So through my own study in the faculty, okay, in uh, summer vacation, I used to work with Masida University, came from Japan, doing its vision uh, process. So I started with them, carrying the set, and promoted, even became a uh, restorer. So uh, there is a lot of exhibitions came from different universities like Japan, England, France, uh, Netherlands, Holland. Okay, because at that time they are building what? They are building the sand dunes, not comes to Giza or the, to their homes because the Sphinx is guarding. Yeah. This is the ancient plea. So, you know, to cancel this idea from the minds of the you know, Egyptian, they, they disfigured the face of the nose of the Sphinx. Just like you say, you know, you are building that statue to prevent you know, the sandstorm from your place. No, I'm destroying the nose. I'm uh, damaging uh, the statue. So, so punish us by you know sandstorm you try you know to cancel this island from the egyptians mind at that time okay but you i would like to do something fine do we need to destroy the nose he's a at 17th century 80 yeah uh -huh. and the six at that time <coughs> covered by sand even the neck uh -huh. so and they found the people they come to that statue okay for like kind of worshiping uh -huh. okay because at that time they are believing what we are believing the sand dunes not comes to Giza or the, to their homes because the Sphinx is guarding. This is the ancient plea. So you know to cancel this idea from the minds of the uh, Egyptian, the, he disfigured the face of the nose of the Sphinx. Just like you say, you know, you are believing that statue prevent you know the sand storm from your place. No, I'm destroying the nose. I'm uh, damaging uh, the statue. So, so punish us by you know sand storm. He tried, you know, to cancel this idea from the Egyptian's mind at that time, okay? But you, I would like to do something funny. 
When you destroy the nose, there is something happen. Sandstorm come, come to Egypt. Uh, <laughs> that's happened, really. Uh, yeah, sandstorm started come to Egypt. Yes. So, uh, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. You know, we are not believing on you know pagan or something like that. But, but you know, there is some you know like you know magic power. Ancient Egyptian, they are very skillful. Uh, in magic. Magic. Yeah, yeah very skillful. And uh, I would like to do something else, you know, ancient Egyptians, they worship for one God. We began to be surprised by this. Ancient Egyptians, they know one God. So how come God and Goddesses, God of love, God of, uh, God of uh, dance, God of mummification? Because the ancient Egyptians, they didn't have a term of uh, angel. Angel, they didn't have this. So they said, you know, the helpers of that one God, God as well, but God of. God of love, God of mummification, God of, but should be angel of beauty, angel of love, angel, but they didn't have that term in ancient Egyptian language. So that one God is sun. So that's why you could say Ibn Ra. Okay? Ra or Akhti. Okay? Always with Ra on the end. It means that God is a helper of Ra. He get his own strength from Ra. Oh. Rania. 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 Yes, Rania. Okay, so I need to ask you. Gods. Names of gods, you know. Tell me names of gods. Ra, okay. Looking to the top of the pyramid, just to see, just the half, just the half of the pyramid. This is wide angle of construction first, and then we choose to be narrow. Second. Second. This is the second mistake of the. This one built when? That's it. Two thousand. Two thousand. No, two thousand seven hundred four BC. Like that. Exactly. Yeah. You know, it's just one of the most well preserved outer casing, outer cover. So you could apply the same thing for the great pyramids in Egypt too. Should be you know, after making a pyramid, they used to put a plaster, I mean, the outer cover or outer casing like this. So the well preserved outer casing for a pyramid is this pyramid. How did they do that? How did you do it? Yes. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Look at if you concentrate on the bottom, the stone, there's some stones start to be cracks on it. Yeah. Look at that one front of you over there. Yeah. You see two do, do cracks. So the same thing for any, a lot of stones around. So that's why they reduce the, the angle of construction to relieve the pressure on the bottom stone. And that's that you have no earthquake here, no? No, there is earthquake. But the, the last earthquake struck to Egypt at 1992. So Okay, one more, one more for the guy. For the guy. Take care, baby. Oh, that's with this video now. Yes. My tummy. Wag mo na kayo magpatuyo, kasi bababa pa tayo. Kalori. But at least you know, you know now your health is perfect. <laughs> your heart is strong. Your knee is, you know, uh, very healthy. So this is a good trial for you. You know, to test your, uh, your body, your health.
check me out. Hindi ko maano. Maging kasi. Ah, that host tour bus that is our bus hired by one week as the entrance okay Hello. Smile. Why the oldest rod we found it here in all over the world is silk. So the silk rod is the oldest piece of rod we found it here in Egypt. Nesh. So, uh, so a lot of a lot of people they are saying, you know, maybe. <laughs> Okay, the silk is so delicate, so, okay, so, you know, uh, you know, very easy to, uh, you know, to turn it, but this is obvious. Okay, so as you see here, to make a knot, there's two layers of silk. Okay, so we have one that is the silk, and then we have the The one, not the dark on the back. This didn't, should be have a skill. So that's why not in the person could work on silk. Should be have some descriptions like small figure, bigger. Okay, should be easy pick up and a lot of training in the woolen rods before you know to work on the silk. And plus the material is so precious because to get silk, natural silk. Okay, this is a big deal now. Okay. So, uh, and, and no waste. This is the most important thing. Don't waste a lot. Because after this, now it's difficult to see. But after this, gonna scissor it. So what I'm gonna waste it as a scissoring is not that much. So it's skillful if he saved the material of silk. And it's gonna take more money, okay? If he saved, okay, the raw material. So how to make a knot? To make a knot, as I told you, I'm gonna ask him to make it slow motion. But this is the cookie term in the He picked up, okay, strings. So one from the front and one from the back. And around the first, then around the second, from down. And got it. One more time. <laughs> Ahmed is my friend and my, uh, my, uh, my neighbor, okay? Is Ahmed going to be your local guide? going to explain to you everything about that traditional industry okay me i'm gonna say hi for my friends all of them they are my neighbor i told you i'm living here so if you like anything okay for, for free our neighbor, <laughs> our neighbor before okay. <laughs> because this is the first time to use a stone okay as a new material to make construction okay so the builders of this complex they did not have any experiences about you know the stone how to deal with the stove and even the durability of the stove. So they found out, you know, the best building in Memphis, it was the Palace of the King in Memphis. And the, that palace made out of mud brick. And they applied, or they did an imitation, or applied imitation for the Palace of the King in Memphis here. Okay. What we can see here is a replica for the Palace of Zosar in Memphis, but made out of stone. 
and because they didn't have experiences about how to deal with the stone, so that's why they apply the mud brick construction when they start to do this. So whatever they have it, mud brick construction, they apply it here. And this uh, reflected from a lot of features, like what, like here. Look at the dimension of the stone here. Same dimension as mud brick. So the chest of the stone, same dimension as mud brick. They did not have that, you know, huge block of stone to make, you know, the pyramid or to make the complex. Even the pyramid itself, same dimension as mud brick dimension. So they made this one like a trial and error. Like, like you know, exactly. The chisel. When they made this one, this one trial and error. Like, they just try. If yeah. they can be like this. No, no. Yeah. They, yeah. Replica. Yeah. Yeah. No, they did a replica. No, they did a replica because yeah. you found out the palace of the king is most beautiful and the best building. So they tried ah, to do so this place beautiful as the palace of the king. Ah, so they did a true replica. And because they didn't know how to deal with the stone, so they, they split the stone as mud brick. Mud brick dimension. Okay? And they know to give a strength for a high wall like this, being out of mud brick, they have used to make inner part, outer part, inner part, outer part, like buttresses. They didn't know is enough. They did not know is enough to make just flat wall. Because they did they did not recognize the world of the stone ever. Okay? So uh, they did it as mud brick high wall. And also, if you guys see, you know, the pillar inside looks like a bundle of reeds. Because the inch, I mean, the ancient Egyptian that used to make bundle of reeds to support, you know, the roof of their houses. Here, made out of stone, but still the same shape. Bundle of reeds. Ripped, looks like a bundle of reeds. By the way, that pillar over there is the first pillar made out of stone in human history. First pillar ever made out of stone. That one inside of this complex. Okay? So this area, this area at 1,927, it was sand dunes, only sand dunes. Only you could see the pyramid from a distance, came up from that sand dunes. So who did a great effort to reveal, or you know, to do a signature process in this area? And he did a restoration process for all of this. He was a French archeologist, his name Loire. Okay, Loire, he was a French archeologist came at 1927 and he spent his own entire life to do that mission and he died in 2006 yeah and to be as a honor for him there's two here in Sakara okay do you remember that technique before the English technique I told you there's two trials with, with a mistake we saw this and this is a first mistake this is the first trial yeah this is the first trial he used uh, uh, tower technique so the only three inner towers still intact and the outer pulling down so which is still intact even now only the three inner towers okay, okay? so this is the first trial this is the second trial okay and the most successful trial is this what you have been inside of it yes. this one this is a pyramid of Giza plateau okay so I the gentleman from the house will tell you everything about what you do in the place Good. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, you are welcome here in our factory of Alabaster. I hope you enjoy your time in Luxor. Yeah. And I hope you understand my English. Yeah. I will do my best in English as far as possible to give you a brief idea about what we work here. Here we make some shape from different kinds of stone. Granite, basalt, limestone and alabaster. Let me start by a small test small question you can tell me which one but alabaster which one basalt which one granite it's a small granite, uh, you granite, start granite <coughs> and alabaster alabaster and basalt, basalt. you yeah. same i think this is yeah. granite granite, granite alabaster, basalt. Alabaster, basalt. 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 Yeah. this is granite yeah yeah same yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. thank you so much yeah. okay let me start this is the first color is white alabaster Oh. Oh. Alabaster. Oh. Alabaster. Show everybody. Alabaster. No. <laughs> Alabaster. 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 Second Alabaster. Uh, brown Alabaster. Huh? Huh? The, What's that? That's Alabaster. Brown, brown Alabaster. Then Alabaster. Third color is, is green question? Alabaster. Oh, no, no, Alabaster. <laughs> Small trick. <laughs> no, 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 no. Small trick. No, no, no. So white, brown, green. Three colors from one material. Alabaster. Alabaster. Mm. 
Mm. We, okay. we bring alabaster stone from the mountain here in Luxor, behind Valley of the King, about 40 kilometers from here. We bring it big size, big block like these blocks. Mm. And we use donkeys and camels to bring these blocks here because no road for car. Mm. After we bring the pieces here, give the block to the artist to make the primitive form, first shape of vase by Hamad, same ancient Egypt time. Pasta. So, thank you. After finish the form, this is the primitive form. Wow. Wow. Second stage, I want to drill it inside. But if I start to drill inside, hard work, without protection outside, all the piece will break. So second stage, make a protection for the piece before start to work inside. How? Like this, look. We wrap it all the piece by cotton material. Like that to make protection for the form. After that, make a hole in the ground, same size like that, and put it inside to be under control. Doesn't move in the machine. When I start to drill it, same Mr. Ramon. Asa, asa. So, thank you. I need your help here. Oh. No. <laughs> Give me your left hand. That. Go inside. Come inside. Okay. Photo. For the artist. Photo, yeah. <laughs> Photo for the artist. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Turn it. Turn it. Faster. Oh. Faster. Faster, Fiona. Faster. Faster. Come on, Gail. Yeah, come on, Gail. Yeah, come on, yeah, do it, Gail. Yeah, you can do it. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh. <laughs> you break it. <laughs> Okay. It's your oh. turn. Go with the naked. The bush. No. You can. It's yeah. Easy. The bush. Yeah. The bush. Hey. The bush. Hey. The bank. The bank. The bank. The bank. The bank. The bank. Hey. The bank. The bank. The bank. The bank. The The bank. 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 The Show us the three colors in light. Make light inside. Put the light inside. Put inside. Put inside. Put inside. Yeah. Mm. This is the first color is white alabaster. Mm. Second one is brown alabaster. Wow. Mm. Big wow, big discount. Wow. That's, that's the chance. Big wow, big wow. Big wow. Big wow. Big wow. Big wow. Ah, nine percent. It's not ten percent. All, all this section is alabaster handmade. We have that one is special for tea light candle light. Inside, two pieces, it's like that, for candle. 
This is why color they have the brown and green. What about the green? This one is color for both of This is the real one. What you would like to drink? Uh, no, take co coffee. 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 Go. First time I hear this one. Uh, this is this a drink? Yeah. Tea. Tea. The palace for any king. The one there. Once we turn to the left hand side, we will find remains of Amen of uh, Amen Hot of the Third Temple that we call Memnon. This place was listed on the UNESCO list of res rescuing temples for uh, since 1998. Yeah, called Memnon. <laughs> no, it's not Memnon. It's, it's allowed. We're gonna turn around to take pictures. Now, since 1998, it was listed on the UNESCO list of rescuing temples. We started digging here only two years ago. 1948, this was the lake. People were fishing in the lake because the Nile used to flood here. The Nile was very white. There was canals connecting the Nile to the temple, so they used to flood here. The two statues we're speaking about are these two statues. We call them the singing stone. Why the singing stone? Because the earthquake made cracks on the statue. When the air blows, it makes sound like whistling. They thought he was singing. In the early morning, they thought his mother is crying for him because they found dew on the statue. But these are statues of Amenhotep of the third, seated on his throne, and the statues are about 18.7 meters high now. Do you want to get down to take pictures? Yes. Yeah. Or from here? Yeah. Oh. Pagawa kita na isa tiyo ganyan. Yan, gayahin mo rin. Budong gawa mo rin sa isa tiyo na ganyan. Let's go, let's go. Ito, mananahilan ko sa Mami Return Restaurant. Ito ang mami return restaurant dito sa Egypt. 
Ayan yung manager namin masungit. The name is Dunya Susan. This is a video. McDonald's there, no. Video anyway. No. <laughs> They're serving the sugar cakes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, everyone drinking the sugar cake, all cakes. Take your shit. Happy birthday, Lorraine. And happy Grace. Belated happy birthday. Belated, it's late now. Oh, late. <laughs> this one and the other one. Oh, wow. yeah. What are you drinking? I'm drinking. I'm drinking sugar, sugar cane. Sugar cane wine. Wine. Sugar cane. Where's Dang Dang? Where's the your juice? Not so dummy. Like we think that it's from here, from the temple. It's actually taken from here, 1807. 1807. Yes, and we got as a reward a clock tower. They put it in front of the citadel. In Cairo, citadel of Muhammad Ali, but it got broken one week after they got it, so it wasn't like a good, a good trade. So we give him the beautiful obelisk, and we got a broken clock. Mm -hmm. Ramesses the second always depicted his wars, his battles, especially with the Hittites, the Syrians. So on the wall here, we can see him fighting people in Syria. You can see people upside down. You can see upside down chariots running horses yeah yes at the end of the wall we can see two boats so yeah, part of the battle was in the sea in the red sea but then there is a big chariot like bigger than the small ones yeah. of the chief of the Hittites running away from the battle
Middle East. So the Nile comes from this side. This was a part of the Nile before the construction of the high dam. After we made the high dam in this point to save the water in the southern side, this part of the Nile was changed to be a lake, and that's why we call it man-made lake. Look at the mountains. It's right in the middle of the lake because it's a man-made lake, right? Look at that building to the right side. That is the Lapka Temple, one of the 17 temples that we had to move to save them from the water of the lake. Yeah, that one, the Lapka Temple. Now look at the uh, side of the lake and look at the level of the water. And let's go to the other side to see the difference. Now we need to sit. Look the other side. That is the continuous of the Nile River. Ito yung kaputol ng Nile River to build the high dam down there. the mother of Horus, the wife 
of Osiris. Isis and her family, they had a very famous legend in the Egyptian history. We call it the legend of Isis and Osiris. We had two gods. We had Jeb, the god of earth, and we had Nut, the sky goddess. They got married. They had four kids. They had two boys, two girls. The boys were Osiris and Set. The girls were Isis and Nephthys. Set was supposed to marry Isis. Os uh, I'm sorry. Osiris was supposed to marry Isis. Set was supposed to marry Nephthys, the other girl. But Set, he wanted to marry Isis. That's why he killed his brother. But Isis, because she was the goddess of magic and love, she brought him back to the life. And the next time, or in the second time, Sit, the bad guy, he decided to kill his brother one more time. But he cut his body into 42 pieces. Why 42 pieces? Because Egypt in the ancient times had 42 provinces. So he wanted to put each piece in each different province in Egypt. Hello. Let's go. 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 Pagod na pagod na kami, gas gas pambulsa. <laughs> Mali, kasi sweldo lang ati saan. Yung sweldo ko mukhang nalipat na nga eh. The new kingdom. Right. We're talking about in between 2120 dynasty till the end of the ancient Egyptian history. Right? So So, so, we have two options to take your shoes off okay. or, or uh, buy a shoe cover. So, 
what you prefer? Shoot. This one is okay. All of us, we're gonna do. Yeah, I've got shock, okay. which is the most. Shock is okay. No, 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 shock gun, shock gun. And, and okay. so just yeah, yeah listen to me, I'll get, just explain a little bit. This poem consists of two parts. As a very special Islamic mosque is during that time. This is the open courtyard and the mosque itself. On the middle of the open courtyard you're gonna see this fount which is carried with 18 pillars, it's made out of alabaster because remember I mentioned to you everything from the internal and external part and the column, it's used alabaster, that's why we call it alabaster. So, uh, remember Luxor Temple? Yeah. yeah. Do you remember? To so the entrance of Luxor Temple, there is supposed to be two standing obelisks there. Yes, yeah. yes. But the one which is in your right hand side to the entrance, it's yeah, not it's exist that. there. Yeah. The one on the left, the one which is standing till now. So remember the guide, you know, she's mentioned, uh, that is the one on your right hand side, it's a transfer to France as a gift from King Muhammad Ali to King Louis. And now standing at Concord Square in France, right? Because two obelisks, obelisks. One, it's not exist, the one on the right hand side, but the one, you know, on the left, it's still standing there, right? And it's what, where, gone where? It went to France as a gift from King Muhammad Ali to King Louis. Because Muhammad Ali, when he came to Egypt, French, they make a full control about Egypt. And Muhammad Ali, he realized it, he cannot make a full control about Egypt without keep good relation between him and French. So that's why he gave to them this obelisk as a gift. And the King, you know, Louis, he gave to Muhammad Ali back this clock tower, which is never works. Never works. You know, French, they are tricky. Right. So here, this one, this is, you can see such a small basis. This is small basis. It's used to block prayer. You go there and sit. And in case you do something, it's called wudu. You should get clean and you should wash to uh, before they go inside the mosque to pray itself. As I mentioned, the Islamic history divided into dynasties. I'm looks dynasty, I'm a said dynasty, so new dynasty, two dynasties, like a founder and a capital place to start. Ali gave the order to build it. Muhammad Ali came to Egypt in 1805. And till 1952, by one king who is called King Fadu. So this is the period of Muhammad Ali family. Uh, uh, Actually, there is two, two revolutions, both of them took place at Tahrir Square. Tahrir Square, where Egyptian Museum is there. Later on, we're gonna go to visit it. Actually, it's before the Tahrir, it's meet freedom or liberation or liberty square. Before this name, it was called Ismail Square, according to the name of the elder son of Muhammad Ali. Right? So, before that, after, you know, Egyptian, they said, oh, King Farouk is the last member of Muhammad Ali family, and Egyptian, they would like to rule by themselves. So they made two revolutions there, called Cairo Revolution, the first, and the Cairo Revolution, the second. Revolution. Revolution, demonstration. Yeah, revolution or demonstration, right? And we demanded to, make King Farouk, the last member of Muhammad Ali family, to leave Egypt, right? And we started to rule by Egyptian themselves. <laughs> so this is, was when, this is, was uh, 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 1952. So we start after war this, to rule by Egyptian themselves. His first president is called Muhammad Nagini, and the second is called uh, President uh, uh, you know, Nasser. Remember the high dam? Exactly, the one who gave the order to the high dam. And after that, Sadat, and after Sadat, we ruled by Mubarak. Uh, till... No, 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 Gaddafi is in Libya. You know, we are talking here about Anwar Sadat. Yeah, you know, Gaddafi in Libya. It's, it's nearby, you know. Yeah. Don't confuse us. Yeah, yeah. Gaddafi in Libya. Right? So, uh, yeah.
We are neighbors, but he did not roll the e. Right? So, uh, so Muhammad Ali, we called him he's the founder of modern Egypt. Yes, because why? First of all, during that time when he came to Egypt, Egypt it was under control of French. And the Egyptian economy, it wasn't that good. So he looked, he found there is a river, the Nile, the source of water and lots of land. So he decided to dig canals to irrigate the land because he looking into agriculture, this is very important source for our national income. So for that time, agriculture, it's it started to be more spiritual and he transferred the farmers and instead of they are working as in, uh, to be as a farmer he said to them hey come on why you are working as a farmer i can give you a land and pay the money back to the government as an installment right and they started to make agriculture grow fruits vegetables and give to the government the money back and we buy you know what you grow so he started to transfer tra transform the farmers instead of they are working as the farmers to be at the owner of the land that's why agriculture it was a very good situation during this time also he taking very good care about education especially females so uh, during that time lots of french and the british they are already living here he asked them to uh, be as a teachers and start to teach the children you know about different languages and science and he sent lots of Egyptian outside of Egypt. He's the one who do the basics of scholarships, right? And after they get certificate, they, he bring them back. Also for, for like healthcare, he's the one who's put the uh, uh, basics of the insurance. He asked it, if he got the money, he can go to hospital to get treatment and paid. If he did not have money, so you can, you know, you can just get uh, the same treatment, you know, with low charge. Also for the army, Egypt was, during that time, there was not a good army. He asked it right to young people to just join the army and give them high salaries. That's why we called him, he's the founder of modern Egypt. He's the one who gives the order to build Egyptian museum, the one, uh, you know, he's gonna visit afterwards. So that's why we called him, he's the founder of modern Egypt. For this mosque, he gives us a charge to one, he's called Ahmed Bushna. He's a fresh graduate and he have no idea how to make such a very good and special and fantastic uh, mosque like this. Also, he's a fresh graduate, Ahmed Bushna, he asked one, he, you know, and take the copy of the blue mosque in Turkey and do it here but in smaller size, right? And he done it in a great way. When he entered here, right, this is directed to Mecca. You know, Mecca, where yeah. Prophet Muhammad, he located there. All the mosques, this is the sanctuary, or this is the most important part that uh, uh, should be directed <coughs> to Mecca. This, this way. We entered from here. Where there is too many churches all over the world. One for, uh, for Catholics, located at Vatican. And the second one, it shares between here and Ethiopia. This is the main church for Orthodox, right? So most of Orthodox under control of both uh, Tawadis. Here, King Fuad and then King Farouk, the last member of Muhammad Ali family. First President, Muhammad Nagib, President Nasser, President Sadat, and then President Mubarak. This is the rulers and the presence of Egypt, yeah. starting from yeah. King Farouk till, sorry? Muhammad Ali, no, Muhammad Ali not here. No, I'm not here. We start from King Fuad, and King Farouk, and Farouk, and Muhammad Nagi, Nasser, Nasser, Sadat, Sadat, Mubarak. How many? Oh, we live in, in Egypt. He stayed in here. Three years, six months. The bro I'm not saying about the Holy Family. I'm talking about Prophet Moses. Moses, the one who gave Ten Commandments. Ten Commandments. Oh, ten they received, not gave. Yes. He received. He received. Yeah. Where he said giving the Ten Commandments. Okay. He lived here in Egypt for 40 years. 
and he took to the God and then he moved to Jordan and he buried in somewhere what we call it Mount Ebal. So this is the places where the Holy Family stopped. They stopped at Rarir, go to Tel Basta, and they go to, you know, the base, and they go to uh, Samanud and Sakha, and Wadi Natum. Wadi, as you know, it's mean valley. Here, there is many monasteries scattered in this area, right? And here we are. You can see old well. Thank you. Old, this is where we are exactly, one of the very important stop of the Holy Family. They keep moving into the south, and they go to Al Bahnasa, Gabal Al Tair, you know, Dairut, and the Sakha, and the Muharraq, you know. So this stops almost more than 16, 17 stops. Total time, three years and six months. Yes, yes. Then they got a news the king is already dead. dead. Exactly. That's why they go to Israel, Bat to Batla again. You got? Yeah. Okay. You get it? It was 15 pillars. This is 15 pillars. The first one, it has a very special design. And each two has the same design. Because you know why? Jesus in the front and each two as the same because Jesus sent his disciples two by two. You know, here there is 110 icons, as I mentioned to you before, dated back to the different periods, 17, 18, 19 century. On your right hand side through the entrance, you're gonna see a very special icon dated back to the 18th century. The one right is the idea of Mona Lisa, it's taken from this icon when you enter directly on the corner on your right hand side. You will see a very special icon. In your left hand side, through this entrance, you will see many tubes. Because these tubes, there is many relics. You know relics? Yes, I know. You know relics? Like antics. Yeah, antics, relics. Yes, before, uh, because of the bodies of different saints and saints. Right? Saints like that? Yes, it's called relics. Relics, huh? Yes, they, keep, they kept it. And because to let the others, they write their candles and take some blessing. You know, in your right hand side, you will see eight pillars in your right hand side and eight pillars in your left hand side. Let's go inside to show you, but please don't talk inside the Okay? Kids, don't talk. Just be silent. We will see the mass. This is the altar of the sanctuary.
Sí, sí, sí. Ah.